good morning, good afternoon, or good evening for wherever your location is on the planet. My name is Q Pate, and before I get into this information about the new continent that geologists are claiming, I want to give you some insightful details about the fantastic country called New Zealand, which is considered one of the top five best countries to live in. New Zealand's capital is called Wellington. Its largest city is Auckland. The official languages of New Zealand are English, Maori, and New Zealand Sign Language. The ethnic groups as of 2013 in New Zealand are 74% European, 14.9% Maori, 11.8% Asian, 7.4% Pacific peoples, and 1.2% Middle Eastern, Latin American, and African. Lastly, 1.7% others. The governing standing of New Zealand is a unitary parliamentary constitutional monarchy. And the controlling monarch, Queen Elizabeth II of England. The estimated population as of 2017 for New Zealand is 4,766,410. The currency of New Zealand is the New Zealand dollar. Just like in England, New Zealanders drive on the left side of the road. New Zealand is also an island nation in the southwestern Pacific Ocean. As well, New Zealand is situated some 1,500 kilometers or about 900 miles east of Australia across the Tasman Sea and roughly 1,000 kilometers or about 600 miles south of the Pacific Island areas of New Caledonia, Fiji, and Tonga. Moreover, because of its remoteness, it was one of the last lands to be settled by humans. The native peoples of New Zealand are the Maori culture, which is, as I mentioned, only 14.9% of the population. Further, in 1642, Dutch explorer Abel Tasman became the first European to sight New Zealand. In 1840, representatives of Britain and Maori chiefs signed the Treaty of Watangi, which declared British sovereignty over the island in 1840. In 1841, New Zealand became a colony within the British Empire, and in 1907, it became a dominion. Dominion status was a public mark of the political independence that had evolved over a half a century through responsible government. Today, the majority of New Zealand's population of 4.7 million is of European descent. The indigenous Maori are the largest minority, followed by Asians and Pacific Islanders. Reflecting this, New Zealand's culture is mainly derived from the Maori and early British settlers with recent broadening arising from increased immigration. And lastly, New Zealand is a developed country and ranks highly in international comparisons of national performance, such as health, education, economic freedom, and quality of life. As a footnote, British explorer James Cook subsequently named the country New Zealand. Now, this month here in February 2017, scientists are claiming a new continent. I don't know if you've heard about this new continent that the geologists are claiming, but it is something that is actual fact. This new continent is called Zealandia, spelled Z-E-A-L-A-N-D-I-A. The continent is two-thirds the size of Australia. The continent is beneath the water 
in the South Pacific Ocean. 94% of the continent is still underwater. The highest points of the landmass are above water, which are New Zealand and New Caledonia, or New Caledonia. The landmass is 1.7 million square miles. Zealandia is believed to have been broken away from Australia about 80 million years ago and sank beneath the sea. Nick Mortimer, a geologist at GNS Science in Dundon, New Zealand, was the lead author of the paper titled Zealandia, Earth's Hidden Continent. He also has a book out. Scientists reported on this new still submerged continental find in the Journal of the Geological Society of America. Zealandia, if accepted by the scientific community, will make it official and cause cardiographers to add an eighth continent to future world maps and atlases. By the way, for those who are wondering, there are seven continents on our planet. Those continents are Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America, and South America. This information is very, very interesting because as I mentioned, 94% of Zealandia is still underwater. And that's what's pretty baffling to me that the geologists are considering this continent, this sunken continent, to be officially a continent, although it's still underwater. Around the planet, there are many sunken, still underwater bodies of land that very well could also be considered a continent. For example, Hawaii is part of a continent that is still underwater. So why don't they consider Hawaii, which is part of a landmass that is sunken, a continent as well? In the information description box for this upload will be further details for you to research and scrutinize. My name is Q Pate, here for the Top Cats Pride and Top Cats Rebel Connection. Thank you for stopping by.